on YouTube, Jason here from wakingupdad.net. Sorry, I had to take a cup of coffee. <sighs> Been up since early. Anyway, so LeVar Ball and Christine Leahy. Yeah. They went at it. Um, both, I'd say in my opinion, being very wrong. Both of them very wrong in their comments and the way they conducted themselves. Uh, but I do feel as a parent, as a dad, as a man, I do feel Christine owes LeVar, and I mean, they both should apologize to each other, but I think first, extending, I think Christine should apologize for what she said in regards to LeVar Ball's parenting. Probably one of the cardinal sins anybody can do to disrespecting a parent is to judge their parenting. Especially when they're providing for their child, uh, when they're providing financial support, education, when they're involved in the kid's life. When you disrespect and you question somebody's parenthood, that's going low. That's going very low. I think she owes him an apology for that. I think she was trolling him. He fell for it. He fell for it hard. But she was trolling him. And whether her or the network or kind of just riding the whole ball family wave and trying to see how many ratings and viewings they can get, you know, that's low in itself. But in today's media, just the way sex sells, so does drama, so does clickbait, all that stuff. It sells, unfortunately. And and it's wrong that she did that. Um, there was no need for that. There was no need to question his parenting. Now him, on the other hand, he did conduct himself wrong. I think he started off well with, you know, refusing to interact with her. But then words came out of his mouth and he said something like, uh, stay in your lane, which kind of brings up the whole woman card and I can see why. I don't think he hates women or he disrespects women. I don't think that's the case. I think he was being disrespectful just to her as an individual, but I don't think he's articulate enough to express his feelings, to get his point across in a way that will just stop all the noise. I don't think he has that. Um, he kind of just carries himself like he's at a poker game with his friends and just joking around and stuff like that So had he done it in a different light had he done it in a different tone? I think We probably wouldn't I would probably wouldn't be having this conversation now would neither would any other sportscaster or newscaster in media today uh, But ultimately she does owe her an apology. He owes her an apology for the way he conducted himself But ultimately the onus is on her because she is a professional she does this uh, every day, you know, she's an anchor. She's an analyst. She does these kind of things. The Ball is not a, friendly with the camera. I mean, he may think he is, but he doesn't come across as a, as a, as a, I guess, professional or intelligent professional. He kind of just comes off as as a passionate father, respectfully, but kind of just winging it, you know. And so the onus is on her. You know, and the network should come down on her for her comments because that was uncalled for. And she she should be held at a higher standard than than he is. Um, but he should apologize too because he was wrong, and he could have he could have diffused it a lot better. He could have handled it a lot better. Uh, but kudos to her for trolling and and winning the troll the troll battle. She got what she wanted. She got her 15 minutes of fame. You know. Um, much respect to the Ball family and what they do um, in promoting their brand and promoting their family and their kids. Uh, I think it's so, you know, I think it's so crisscross how people could view how they can have perspective on, on things. Because in today's society, and I'm just bringing this up real quick and, I, and I'll stop here, but in today's society, we deem, uh, we, we deem the whole black father and as you can see in this video I'm not a black man so I can't comment too much on this situation 
only from what I see on TV and from what I hear on radio. Uh, but with with black communities and, and black families, that there's not enough uh, fathers raising their sons and raising their kids. Uh, you know, where are the fathers? And you know, this wouldn't be happening if the father was involved. You know, you hear all the time, all the time, uh, uh, particularly about black men and, and black families. And here you have this man, a black man, doing everything he can to propel his children into another level and to reach that brass ring, that American dream that we all strive for, that we all want our kids to, to strive for. We all want our kids to do better than us, that's no question. So why is that any different for him? Right? Just think about that. So he's doing all he can and I don't think people realize the commitment, the commitment it takes to have your child even consider, be considered on an NBA team. Like, that's dedication. Just putting money aside because, yes, he's had some money, he's had some professional success of his own, um, but just putting money aside, money purely aside, just from the commitment standpoint, all the weekends and holidays and, and fun times that they probably could have spent at Disney or doing whatever, playing video games, you know, wasting hours away, you know, what what was the family doing? You know, probably going to basketball camps left and right, joining different leagues, CYO, CAA. You know, it's not easy to get in Division One, um, and to have to be to be committed from an early age uh, with your child is, I, from my understanding, from the age of six years old to young adulthood. That takes a lot of commitment. That takes a lot of sacrifice, and people don't get that. So I commend Lavar Ball for all he's doing for his child. And for actually for all his children and his family, uh, he could be doing it in a different way, a more positive way. Uh, maybe he's trolling everybody else in his actions. Maybe he isn't this kind of guy. I wouldn't be surprised if he if it's all a facade, uh, simply because, like I said, sex sells, and so does drama. It, this could be the case. Who knows? Uh, but I'll end with that. Uh, I want to know what your comments are, uh, what your thoughts are in this situation. Do you think she was wrong? Do you think he was wrong? Um, and what you think should be done from this. It's a really interesting topic because it, it could be thrown a lot of different ways. It could be thrown a lot of different ways. But I'll, I'll end it with this and uh, just comment down below. Let me know what you think and there'll be more videos similar to this. I told you this Waking Up Dad, we're going to be doing everything from sports, advice, how-tos. We're going to talk about all things dad related. Anyway, peace. See you next time.